Hello and welcome back to Offered Outlaws once again for another dive into what y'all think we should get in the next update or maybe future updates after that. Now, this is another big trend that I have noticed in some of the comments of the videos I've done recently, and that is trailers. People want more trailer customization because if you look, if you have this trailer, for example, you click on the customization button, it will tell you that you just 100% cannot customize it. Now, if you you click the box trailer, however, you can customize it, but it is only paint, wraps, and decals, and there's no ability to change wheels or tires or anything like that. Now, I obviously don't think that there's going to be any need for, like, trailer body customization. Um, it could be cool, but I doubt that it's going to be a thing. Although, I do think it would be really cool if we could switch out the wheels on our trailers to just add a little bit of that custom flair to it. Now, once again, this is a big trend that I've been noticing in my comments recently, and I want to say massive thanks to anybody and everybody that comments on these Offered Outlaws videos and suggests future features, because honestly, y'all think of a lot of things that I don't even think about, right? Like, there are things that, yes, I would love to see in future Offered Outlaws updates, but then I read y'all's comments, and I think to myself afterwards, I'm like, wow, these are really good ideas and really good suggestions that I would never have even thought of. Now, another trend that I've been noticing a lot of people suggesting lately is people saying that they want airbag suspension. So, essentially, the ability to have one suspension height and then pull up to, like, you know, a car meet or a truck meet or a show or something and then just air out and completely dump the thing on the ground. Now, whether or not air suspension is your speed, there are a lot of people out there that seem to really be interested in it, and there are enough people that are interested in it to the point to where I keep seeing it as a reoccurring trend in my comment section from a lot of different people. It's not just, you know, the same few people suggesting it over and over again. There's a lot of different people that are suggesting airbag suspension be added in a future Offered Outlaws update. And again, if it deepens the customization system and it provides people more choice in terms of what they want to build, I am all for it because, you know, vehicle customization is so subjective that there's really no right way, in air quotes, right, right way way to do it because there are so many different ways to build a vehicle there's so many ways to, to build a car build a truck build an atv build a side by side you know whatever it is you want to build and there are so many different types of styles that you can build it in that again there's really no right way to do it that's why i always laugh when you know someone will build something that they want and someone else says oh you built that the wrong way and i'm like first of all how could they build it the wrong way? It wasn't your taste to begin with, so instead of telling them that they built theirs the wrong way, why don't you go build yours the way you want to build it and leave them alone? And speaking of repeated trends in the comment section, another one that I have been seeing is people wanting to see more 6x6s. Now, 6x6s used to be something that we saw a little bit more often uh, in this game. We saw a little bit more of them getting added on a semi-regular basis. You had, the, uh, you had one that was similar to the Yar in SnowRunner, which if you're not quite sure what the Yar is, I'll put it on the screen right now. And the Offered Outlaws version of that vehicle actually became kind of semi-popular for a while. I saw a good amount of people using it. However, now, I don't really see anywhere near as many people using that thing. So I wonder if either people just got a little bit tired of it, or maybe they moved on to other vehicles. And then, of course, Offered Outlaws also has the sort of, you know, uh, copyright-friendly version of the AMG 6x6, which that thing is an absolute monster and a half. But at the same time, I do understand that not everybody has the ability to get it. And in keeping with the theme of 6x6 vehicles, someone in my comments recently also suggested that they would like to see the ability to 6x6 convert most in-game pickup trucks. Now, what I think would happen if this ended up becoming a feature was we would probably see for, like, maybe, you know, a couple of months or so, we would see everything being converted into a 6x6, and then people would probably, you know, work their way back into standard pickup trucks, and then every once in a while we would see an intermixing of 6x6s, but I feel like that would be one of those things that kind of everybody would use it for a little while, and then, you know, as the sort of uh, initial oh my god factor of it sort of wore off a little bit, then it would go back to being used primarily by people that are dedicated 6x6 fans. 
Now, I don't know if personally I could see them adding the ability to convert every pickup truck, um, but it's definitely something that is a good idea in theory, um, but I think it would require a lot of reworking to the existing models because they would have to add so much to them. They would have to add, you know, an extended frame. They would have to add a additional axle, and it would also, in some ways, limit the amount of customization options you would have because remember, on a 6x6, your two rear axles are so close together that there is a pretty much a hard limit on how large you can make those rear tires because eventually if you make them too large they'll just smash into each other and there's really not going to be anything that you could do about that and it's going to kind of ruin the vehicle's drivability and also heavily limit the amount of tire size that you can actually get out of them. And that's really the big trade-off with any kind of 6x6, right? It's that, like, yes, you do pick up this second axle in the back, or rather, in total, a third axle, but you give up the ability to run really, really large tires. And whether or not that is important to you, or which one is more important to you than the other, again, comes down entirely to personal choice of the owner of the vehicle. Now, another suggestion that I see in the comments a lot, and this has kind of been going on for a while, people have been asking for one of these in Offered Outlaws for... I think years now, and it was to the point to where there was even fake screenshots getting shared around for a while that caused a bunch of buzz around the idea, and that is semi-trucks. Now, I don't know if this is something that they would ever do. I don't know if they have ever issued an official yes or no response to this. I'm sure if they issued an official yes response, then we would know about it, and if they issued an official no response, it must have been kind of quiet-ish or in a small conversation because I don't remember the answer to that, but I would venture a guess that they haven't really made a major comment on that yet, and if they have said no, it must not have been a huge deal because I don't remember hearing about it. And while a semi-truck in Offered Outlaws would be cool, I do think that it would be a little bit limited in terms of where it could go and how it could be used, because remember, at the end of the day, this is a off-roading based game, and there would be a lot of areas of the game that a semi-truck would kind of be uh, limited off from because of just sheer vehicle capability because you got to remember you know these things are especially in the real world a lot of them are very low to the ground they've got you know in if you're talking about off-road ability terrible approach and departure angles and I'm not saying that off-road semis are not a thing they absolutely are I mean if you look at really anything that goes way out into the wilderness to do logging and stuff like that yeah absolutely they're taking semis off-road but those are not your average everyday semis that you see on the road, those have a lot of different upgrades and features to make them more off-road capable. Now, could Offered Outlaws add one of those? I'm sure that they could if they wanted to, and it would be really cool to see. However, I'm not sure if that's something that they actually plan on doing at this present point in time, although I did want to acknowledge that because whenever I talk about potential features that we would like to see in the future, I do always see lots and lots of people requesting semi-trucks in my comments, so I can definitely tell that there is a lot of interest around the subject of semi-trucks coming to this game. And I will say that even though semi-trucks might not be the uh, the first thing you might think of when it comes to Offered Outlaws, I mean, you could say the same as well for like an AMG 6x6, and that got added. So at the end of the day, we never know. Now, this next suggestion was actually a really, really cool one, and I know it's a little bit smaller, it's a bit more detail-oriented, it's a bit more customization-oriented, but nevertheless, I still think it's really, really interesting, and that is, someone suggested that they would like to see more options for bed accessories in pickup trucks. So, for example, bed covers, welders, uh, toolboxes, well, we have toolboxes already, but maybe more toolbox options, um, also things like, you know, just general bed accessories that you would find kind of outside of the scope of what we have already. And the welder in particular really intrigued me because they could actually integrate that somehow into the gameplay. They could make it a usable repair add-on. They could make it a, you know, a usable add-on in other ways if they wanted to. And plus, I think building a welding rig would be something that would not only connect with a lot of the players, but it would also just go really well into the Offered Outlaws ecosystem. 
and camper shells as well, or truck caps, whatever you want to call them, I think would also be a really good addition because, again, they would really deepen the customization option list for pretty much every truck. And as far as, you know, bed caps, camper shells, and stuff like that goes, I don't know if they would be really easy to add or really hard to add. Again, I'm not a developer, so I'm not going to say that they would be easy or hard to add. Um, that is, again, up to the development team to figure out. Um, but at the end of the day, I do think they would be a really cool way for them to deepen the customization system while using what they already have as a really good base. And also, you could kind of make bed caps and camper shells functional if you wanted to, because it would also give you more roof room to add extra roof racks, roof gear, overland gear, things like that. I know we talked about overland gear a little bit in another previous Offered Outlaws Update Suggestions video, um, but again, I think that bed caps, camper shells would be a great addition to the customization options. But that's going to do it for this Offered Outlaws Future Update Suggestions video, and if you have anything else that you would like to add to the conversation, please do leave it in the comment section down below. I always read the comments, and I always try to get as many of your suggestions into the next video as I possibly can. And with that being said and done, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time.